All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful like Akim. All right, teaching this word in truth and sincerity, pushing it through the four corners of, of the earth. All right. I say shalom to the elect, the bayath, shadowadah, the men, women, and children listening and learning. All right. This is Brother Karadaza from Las Vegas. Man of Valor. All right. I'm back with another lesson today. It's just going to be a quick, uh, a quick hit. You know, um, Briefly talking about, you know, that that prisoner trade swap, you know, that was made earlier uh, last week. You know, um, just my my thoughts and take on it, on that that um, abomination that the <laughs> that uh, Biden had traded for, you know, and it's unjust when when you have military. Um, you have an ex, uh, Marine or, or a Marine that's still out there and kept, uh, still out in Russia, you know, detained and he traded, you know, a, um, you know, a, uh, pretty much a basketball player, a celebrity for a, um, you know, a, a, a arms dealer, you know, known as the merchant of death. Okay. Who, you know, pretty much is going to help, um, you know, Russia in this current uh, war that, that we are in. Okay. That the Americans and the Ukrainians are in. Because even though America hasn't taken part of it, you know, the Lord has it to where they're building up. All right. They're building up you know, to that third world woe, okay? Putin's not going to allow you to fund the enemy <laughs> without being involved, you know, in this war, okay? But let's start off with these scriptures because this is all, you know, si uh, to sidetrack, you know, the... the um. You know, the media is using this story to sidetrack you from, you know, what's going on. And, and as Putin came out earlier and said last week that, you know, he will use, which he's been saying, is that it's getting closer to him using, you know, uh, you know, lethal force. We know what that means because Putin can easily wipe out Ukraine if he wanted to. Okay, so let's start here in Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, see, they, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right. Yeah, you, you could tell through the spirit and the prophecies being played out that the most high, the end is at hand. Okay. All right. There's evil days ahead of us. Jacob's trouble, World War Three, sedition amongst men. All right, we're we're living in those times, okay. And this whole thing is, you know, pretty much that whole situation that went down. You know, is is media's attempt to, you know, and propaganda being used by this devil to. Try to put the, the people at ease. Okay. So when they throw in. When these bigger events happen. It's going to come out of, out of. You know. Left field. It's going to create. You know. Mass chaos. Alright. And then they can implement. The NWO. Alright. Because they use. Something called. Order Abkeo. All right, verse seventeen it says, "Wherefore be ye not wise, unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is." 
says, and be not drunk with wine. You know, and that wine is false doctrine. You can, Western philosophy. Okay. That America has pushed upon the whole earth. All right. The influence of the world. All right. It says, we're in excess. We're in is excess, but be filled with the spirit. All right. All right. And, you know, we're not supposed to be <clears throat> in tune with this world. We need to be in tune with the the, the Holy Spirit. Okay. And ultimately, the point was, what I wanted to make of, you know, that, that trade, you know, the prisoner swap, what I wanted to make of it, you know, or what I first thought of it was that, you know, the Most High is bringing, you know, BG back for, for judgment, all right? And that's the only reason why she's being, uh, you know, redeemed out of that. <laughs> out of that situation all right so let's go here first it says the lord hateth all abomination and that i fear the most high love it not all right so we're in sync you know the prophets of the, of the lord are in sync of what the most high you know loves what he loves we love all right, when he hates, we hate. All right, and the Most High does not like you, you um, zesty people out there. All right, you go to Romans, the first chapter, and read up on it. All right, and this is, you know, that's a big agenda that that these um, devils have pushed mostly on our people. All right, this is Amos 9 and 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall, shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Okay, so all the sinners are going to die by the sword. There is no escape. All right, for you two-third Israelites. All right, let's get that clear. And then we actually going to hold that. See, and here in um, in Babylon the Great, they make it a they exalt this or exhort, you know, and and applaud you for for being a confused person. This is Proverbs seventeen and fifteen. It says he that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just. Even they both are an abomination to the Lord. See? So, you got people called fruit flies. <laughs> condoning. You know, that's what a lot of these women do. They they condone the man to act uh, effeminate. Alright? Zesty. To be that type of way that they, they love when they do that. And... So they both going to be, you know, judged for that, all right? But as we read in the previous, those that think that they ain't going to be touched, all right, because of what they're doing, they're in for a rude awakening. They're in for a rude awakening, and, and pretty much, you know, the point of this lesson was that, you know, the Lord brought that person back. You know, you know who I'm speaking of. Um, but brought that person back for judgment. Simple as that. This is Amos eight, and um, oh, you know what it was Amos five. Five and uh, eighteen. It says, "Well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right? The day of the Lord is destruction. You know, as uh, Yahushua said, I come 
not uh, for peace, but but a sword. Okay, I mean for destruction. All right, Yahweh Shah is gonna be implementing destruction when he comes back. He said he comes back for vengeance. <laughs> Uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah, I will not meet thee as a man. Okay? It says, As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. So not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. Alright? So, you know, it's dark in a sense of, uh, you know, mass grief. And it's also going to be darkened from Yahweh Shai's chariot blocking out the sun. It's also going to be darkened from the smoke of the, of the um, ICBM missiles. Okay. This is the destruction that, uh, you know, the Most High is going to lay, lay upon you know, first and foremost, the nation of Israel. It says in First Peter 4 and 17, for the judgment starts in the house of the Most High. Okay. But there's no escape from it. Alright. Two-thirds gonna, gonna die by the sword. Alright. You can, you can run, but at the end of the day, you know, you can't hide. Alright. Um, I have a scripture in mind, but I can't think of it right now. It's like you. One second. Come on, that's right. Um, this is Ezekiel nine and and um, and five. It says and to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man whom is the mark. At the Wa, and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. Okay, and, and those are the angels, you know, destroying the two thirds, you know, that had no mark of salvation. That the Wa, that the Most High did not, you know, sanction to be saved. All right. The two thirds are, are, you know, the wicked Israelites, you know, who do not follow after the, the most high's way. All right. They're ultimately going to be judged at the end of this thing. All right. Let's get one more. Because that's why the most high calls us, a, a you know, a rebellious house. Stiff stiff neck people. Hmm. That's not what I want. Let's get Just one more bear with me. And it on this. Second edges. It's going to be chapter 9. Yeah. Suck yeah. Second edges 9. And, um,. And 13, it says, 
Let me get this highlighter right here. Put it in a different color. God says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, be more occupied in, in working out thine own salvation. All right. But we use, you know, um, examples like this that are in the news, you know, to make a point that you know the two thirds of of, of um, every two third Israelite, every wicked Israelite will be cut off from the earth in that day. Every two third Israelite will be destroyed. You know, and that's the order that the Most High has made, and you know that's what is necessary for righteousness to flourish. Right. So with that, you know point was made you know and and lord one of the elect has been edified or persuaded you know to repent and come back into this truth and worship our true power yahweh Hashem all right and with that i'm gonna give all honor glory and praise to yahweh Hashem all right double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone Shalom to the elect, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abal Ba. Till the next one, I say Shalom.